to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Catastrophic maritime injuries. In some instances, an offshore accident can cause uh, injuries that are so serious that they can change personal life uh, permanently. These types of injuries are so notorious that the medical and legal community has worried for them. Catastrophic injuries, when a person has this type of offshore injury, their injuries will likely impact the rest of their life. In some instances, sudden injuries mean that a person will not be able to earn a living with a physical work as they once did not. In other cases, it means that every aspect of a person's life is impacted by the severity of their injuries. Serious maritime injuries that change life include traumatic brain injuries or TBI, spinal cord injuries, paralysis, amputations, brain injuries, cross injuries. Often, these offshore injuries require a lifetime of medical care when workers are suffering from an injury they did not cause, they deserve compensation for the care that will make their life as comfortable as possible. Maritime brain injuries One of the most catastrophic injuries that can occur in a maritime accident is a brain injury. If you suffer a brain injury during a maritime accident, it is vital to contact a top-rated Houston Maritime Brain Injury Lawyers as quickly as possible. They can help you uh, to advocate for your rights, including those who have suffered serious brain injuries while working offshore. And then common causes of offshore brain injuries include contact with hazardous chemical, highly flammable uh, chemical can cause severe burns, Electrical accident, faulty or improperly handled electrical equipment can spark a fire. Engine room fires, malfunctions in engine room can cause an explosion of fire. Equipment malfunctions, hazardous or defective equipment can cause a fire explosion caused by highly flammable chemical use for the vessel or onboard equipment types of brain injuries a maritime workers can experience. There are several degrees of brain injuries depending on the severity of the brain. Brain injuries can be caused by extreme heat electricity, chemicals, radiation, or friction. Any of these brain hazards are present on seafaring vessels or offshore rigs. Brain injuries can range from mild to life altering burns, include uh, first degree burns. This is usually a surface burn that, that does not necessarily require medical attention but may cause irritation and pain. And then second degree burns. Uh, this is more severe burn that may cause blister and may extend below the surface. Healing can take a few weeks. Third and fourth degree burns, these are the most serious burn injuries because they extend through the entire layer of a tissue that lies below the surface. This layer contains uh, structures such as nerves, endings, sweat glands, hair, follicle, and blood capillaries, these brain injuries are much more severe and will require a longer healing process and more medical attention. And then serious brain injuries complication. Several brain injuries can lead to serious complication if not treated properly. Third or fourth degree brain complication include hypothermia resulting from the loss of a body heat due to the damaged skin, Hypovolemia from damaged blood vessel, causing your body to lose blood and other fluids. Infection resulting from the lack of protective barriers due to the damaged skin. Joint difficulties can result from the build up of scar tissue. Sepsis can result from an infection. This is a life threatening uh, condition. And then, hospitalization caused for catastrophic burns can run into a six figure range. This is why it is vital to contact an attorney as soon as possible to recover financial compensation for your injuries. Suffering these injuries without support can destabilize your future and the sooner you get in contact with a maritime brain injury lawyer, the better your chances of uh, achieving the best possible outcome for your case. And then maritime, uh, Houston Maritime Brain Injury Attorneys had injuries occur frequently in the maritime industry depending on the severity of the injury. Lifelong treatment may be needed in many cases, it may seem as tough cases could have not been prevented. In reality, many brain injury accidents could have been prevented 
With the proper precaution, if, that, if that's not the case, you may be able to file a claim under the Jones Act. Some of the most common causes of brain injuries include broken equipment, conveyor belt accidents, crane and cargo accidents, improper safety guidelines and training, improperly stored equipment, lack of safety equipment, poor ship maintenance, slip and fall accidents, types of brain injuries and common symptoms. When a maritime worker suffers a head injury, it is one of two types, a closed head injury and an open head injury. A closed head injury is when an injury does not cause the skull to be broken, fractured or pierced. An open head injury is when the skull is pierced or fractured. Although open head injuries may seem more severe, closed head injuries are difficult to diagnose and can require expensive treatment. And then common symptoms of brain injuries include cognitive damage, memory loss, trouble with concentration and attention, sensory symptoms, loss of vision, hearing loss or loss of taste or smell, physical symptoms, seizures, headache, paralysis, insomnia, chronic pain, or language difficulties, behavioral emotional symptoms like irritability, anger, depression, and traumatic mood swings, any level of brain damage can have a serious impact on an employee's daily life, altering their personality and their ability to make a living. When a brain injury happens because an employer or co-worker was negligent, it is vital for injured people to hold at fault parties accountable. For their own sake, the sake of other employees, and the sake of the loved one they support. Maritime Amputation Injury Lawyers Although not all maritime injuries are caused by negligence, amputation injuries often are. If an employer or vessel owner fails to maintain equipment, train the crew, or create a safe work environment, it can cause serious injuries that require amputation. Some of these accidents may be caused due to the following unsecured cargo, navigation collision, lack of safety and equipment training, defective and malfunctioning equipment. It is vital to work with equipment and machinery that is regularly maintained so that it is working correctly, it is the employer responsible to ensure that workers are properly trained to use the equipment. If your employers had not met this standard, you and your lost limb as a result, he or she was negligent and should be held accountable. And an amputation treatment. Surgery is required to treat a lost limb or to amputate a limb. Once you have had surgery, you may still need extensive physical and emotional therapy to help you adjust the new reality of missing a limb or using a prosthetic limb. This payment's cost can be difficult for an injured maritime workers to handle, especially when supporting a family. Our firm often has to help our clients rebuild the financial security in the wake of costly medical treatments. This is why it is vital to contact a maritime amputation injury attorney as soon as possible. Recovering compensation for amputation injuries. If you suffered severe injuries in a maritime accident that require amputation, you have the right to receive compensation. Limb loss is a financially caused loss. Patients face treatment costs for the rest of their lives. Under maritime law, you have several avenues for covering damages, especially if negligence is involved. Since maritime law is different from the laws on land, it is vital to contact an experienced maritime amputation injury attorney as soon as possible to help you receive the best possible result for your case. Understanding Maritime Injuries In 2013, the Centers of Disease Control released a report examining fatal maritime injuries from 2003 until 2010. It found that those working in the offshore oil and gas industry are seven times more likely to die than workers in other industries. However, the oil and gas industry is not the only common sector uh, for maritime injuries anytime people are on a vessel or working in a maritime industry. Dangerous conditions are present and vessel owner and employees must take appropriate measures to protect them. Those in charge of a vessel are responsible for maritime injuries. Vessel owner and employees must ensure the proper safety training for workers and ensure that their ships and rigs are seaworthy. This is true even in the face of a natural disaster uh, and heavy weather like hurricanes and tropical storms. Propsies are no excuses for vessel capsizing or sinking if the owner knew the storm and failed to evacuate crew and take measures to avoid it. I think that's all guys information that I can share to you. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you can take a photo from the video that I've said to you. Don't forget to give like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.
Bye guys, see you in another video.